Hello and welcome back to Chinese Zero to Hero. In this video, let's go over a HSK2 grammar point that we haven't yet covered in our course, but is in the official HSK curriculum and the HSK 2.0 curriculum. All right, so the topic for this grammar video, the first one in the HSK2 grammar appendix, is the demonstrative pronouns with classifiers. And that is how you can say this or these or that and those in Chinese. So as you have already learned in HSK1, lesson eight, uh, zhe and na means this or that. This is nothing new. And you have also learned in HSK1, lesson eight, that gu is the generic measure word, and ben is the measure word for books, yi ben shu, for example. And shuang is a measure word for pairs, uh, things like shoes, for example. Right. 一双, 一双鞋, for example, this is taught in HSK 3, lesson 11. And uh, finally, you have learned the word 鞋 in HSK 1, lesson 12, that is for plural or multiple objects, 这些, 那些, etc. In this lesson, we're going to put those together and we're going to put, uh, we're going to generalize this pattern, that is, we first have a demonstrative pronoun. Uh, and na. And then we have a classifier, for example, but ge, shuang, and xie. Uh, this is actually wrong. This is this should be xie right here. And shu, uh, for example, a noun. So you have a demonstrative pronoun, a classifier, and a noun. And that is how you can express things like uh, this book or these books or those books, for example, in Chinese. All right, so Let's take a look at some examples. The first one is na shuang xie, those uh, or that pair of shoes, na shuang xie, that pair of shoes, na shuang xie. Zhe ben shu, this book, zhe ben shu. Next, na ge ren, that person, na ge ren. So, uh, the idiosyncrasy of Chinese is that we have classifiers like this, like gu. So when you say that person, we need to add the gu in there, right? Not gu ren, not gu ren. Another example, zhe xie dong xi, these things. So zhe xie, really in English, is just these. Right? These things, zhe xie dong xi, all right? Next, zhe ben shu shi wo de. That means this book is mine. Again, this line right here is the gloss. Uh, so this is a word by word translation of the Chinese sentence. So you can actually relate each one of these uh, glosses to these pinyin words. For example, this means zhe uh, is this, but is a counter. CL stands for classifier, also known as counters, also known as uh, measure words in Chinese, right? measure words. But in linguistics, classifier is the most generic term uh, because this is uh, used in many different languages. So uh, I'm going to use CL as the, uh, the standard abbreviation for classifiers. And the over here is um, this the over here that, that is uh, expressing the genitive case in Chinese. Well, this is a grammatical term. Uh, you don't really have to know this. You just know that this is a word by word translation of the sentence. All right, so, 这本书是我的. This counter book is I. Right, 这本书是我的. This book is mine. 这双鞋很漂亮. 这双鞋很漂亮. This, 这, counter for pairs, 双, Right, shuang literally means a pair, right? You can see that it it's a pair of yos, right? So this character is yo. Uh, this, this is pronounced yo. So when you have two of them, um, this is shuang. Uh, this is pronounced shuang. Shuang means a pair. Zhe shuang, this, uh, the classifier for pair. Xie, shu, hen, very, piaoliang, beautiful. Right? Zhe shuang xie, hen, piaoliang, this pair of shoes. Uh, is very beautiful. Next example, 
这个苹果 ，this apple， 很好吃啊 ，very good eat or very tasty. Right, good eat is tasty. 这个苹果很好吃啊 ，this apple is very tasty. Next, ah,、uh, 这只猫很可爱 This cat is very cute. Right, so 只 is the counter for animals. Right, so this is for animals. 这只猫很可爱。这只猫很可爱。Next, 这些书很有意思。啊、uh, ，these 些 is a count is a classifier for multiple things. 这些书 ver 呃、uh, 书 is 啊、uh, ，sorry, I'm missing the word book in the gloss. 这 these 啊、uh, 这些 is these with the counter 啊、uh, meaning multiple. 书 is Book, 很 very, 有意思 is interesting. Literally, 意思 is meaning or interest. So when you say 有意思 that means having interest. Then that is interesting. Okay, 有意思 means interesting. These books are very interesting. Now, if you want to say that or those, and then you substitute 这 with 那那 Not. For example, that bicycle is very old. Is 那辆自行车很旧，旧 is old. 那辆自行车很旧，那辆自行车很旧。那些东西我不需要啊，那些东西我不需要。Those things I do not need. Right? 啊，那些东西 as for those things 我不需要 ，I do not need them. 啊，那些东西。我不需要。So, 些 is the plural classifier, right? Classifier for plural things. 那些东西 these counter things 我不需要。I don't need these things. 那支笔坏了。啊、uh, ，that 啊、uh, pen is broken. 那支笔坏了。That pen, that pen is broken. I should mention that zhi is the classifier for、uh, things that are can be can be held in the hand and it's longish. Yi zhi, for example, a flower. Right, you can say that's yi zhi hua. You can say some people call f- use zhi、um, for handphone、uh, for、uh, cell phones. Right, so yi. 一只手机。Some people say that 一只手机。Uh, you can also use that for pens. 一支笔，一支笔。剑 ，over here， 剑，剑。That is a counter for it- items or events. Right, items or events. So that is the classifier for events. 那件事 that thing or that issue or that matter 很重要。那件事情很重要。事情，事情 is issue or matter. Right, that matter is very important. 那件事情很重要。That counter for issues and issue is very important. 很重要。那件事很重要。That matter is very important. And finally, we have 那条河很长。那条河很长。That river is very long. That 条 is a counter、uh, for measuring things that are long、uh, or belt, right? Things like that. Okay, river. 那条河很长。啊、uh, ，pants can also be 啊、uh, 条 ，right? A pair of pants is 一条裤子。那是一条裤子。一条裤子 ，a pair of pants, spelled. 裤子 ，okay, that's a pair of pants. So river is long and windy. So、uh, that is 那条河 right? 那条河很长 That river is very long.、Right? All right. So that is how you can use demonstrative pronouns with classifiers. For example, 这些那双 and a noun. To、um, to indicate what you are talking about, like 这这本书那双鞋啊、uh, this book or that shoe.